We can perform calculations involving pH, pOH, and other quantities for pure water when we're not at 25 degrees. We'll do another example here. We're given that the pH of pure water at a certain temperature was measured and found to be 6.63. Question A asks us to find the value of Kw at this temperature. We can do this using two different methods. In the first method, we start by converting the given pH to hydronium ion concentration. We use the formula hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 6.63, which comes out to 2.34 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. Kw is the product of hydronium and hydroxide ion concentration. Because we're dealing with pure water, which is neutral, the concentration of hydroxide is equal to the concentration of hydronium. So we can substitute hydronium ion concentration in for hydroxide ion concentration, and we get that Kw is equal to the hydronium ion concentration squared, which is equal to 2.34 times 10 to the negative 7th squared, or 5.5 times 10 to the negative 14th. Using the second method, we start with the fact that we have neutral water, so the pOH is equal to the pH, which is equal to 6.63. Remember that at any temperature, pKw is pH plus pOH. Because pOH is equal to pH, we can substitute pH in for pOH. So pKw is equal to 2 times the pH, which is 2 times 6.63 or 13.26. We know that Kw is equal to 10 to the negative pKw, which is 10 to the negative 13.26, or 5.5 times 10 to the negative 14, which is the same answer we got using the first method. Question B asks whether the temperature is equal to, less than, or greater than 25 degrees. We see that the Kw for water at this temperature is 5.5 times 10 to the negative 14, which is greater than the Kw at 25 degrees, or 1 times 10 to the negative 14. When the Kw is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 14, it means that the ionization equilibrium has shifted to the right, so the temperature must be higher than 25 degrees. Question C asks if the water is acidic, basic, or neutral at this temperature. Because we're dealing with pure water and no acid or base has been added, we can correctly conclude that it's neutral.